Yo, man. So, I recently covered a video with Cat Williams calling out comedian Cedric the Entertainer on Club Shay Shay saying they stole a joke from him from back in the days. I'll catch y'all up with that later, but first thing first, initially I played the clip of Cedric the Entertainer doing a joke that Cat Williams said that was stolen from him. But since then, I did stumble across Cat Williams performing this joke on Common View. Now, I want you guys to be the judges. Let me know if you think Ced stole this joke from Cat. Hey, you should have had your car radio up so that you couldn't hear the damn thing when it cut off. It looked like this. You flossing in a six shift converter. Right, now once again here goes Cedric the Entertainer doing his joke from Kings of Comedy. They gonna move to the moon. Ain't gonna happen. Y'all move to the moon, damn it, we coming to the moon. Oh, we be right behind y'all in space shuttles with Cadillac grills, niggas. Niggas just rolling one headlight out. Tags be all wrong. All base. Y'all know we'll drive a space shuttle too. That's right up our damn alley. A space shuttle is long. They ain't scared of no black folk. We'll drive a space shuttle. We grew up driving long for cars. We'll drive a space shuttle like it's a 72 deuce and a quarter. We, we, we get us a cigarette. We get us, we be in a space shuttle like it's a 72. Okay, so both of them was in the car. That's the premise of the joke. Music being too loud, you gotta turn it down. It may be something to that, or it may be just too vague to say that he stole the joke, which y'all think. But like I told y'all, let me catch y'all up with what led to this point with these clips being resurfaced. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? Yeah. He said, it don't line up. How it don't line up? He thought that I was just a no-name comedian and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. So part of the commercial of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing me doing this joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke mm -hmm. and it's my last joke and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998 I'm doing this joke, it's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times, <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you, Shannon. I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> There was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Why did I give you a pass if you were just gonna lie? Cedric sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here looking like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why I'm not a movie star. What? 
it's, it's a situation. He never wrote anything. Remember, when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. Right. We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he's write doing jokes. An album. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? They're so bad that they're not available on Netflix or Tubi. You don't think Sam's a good a, a good comedian? The world doesn't think that, sir. I have 12 comedy specials. He has four specials that are not available on Netflix or Tubi. And this is the age of truth. And, and, and the truth doesn't need to be scared of the fact that people tell lies. Uh, cats on drugs. Where are the stories? Why is there no story of anybody who ever sold a drug to me, did a drug with me, was around me when I was inebriated? I got five daughters. I got five sons. Why would we tell these ridiculous stories? Because it's co competition. Now, I'm reading... Cat Williams won Cedric the Entertainers and Heiser Bush Best L L Best Los Angeles Comic Award. Did you win that award, one Cat Williams? It's a simple yes or no. It's not a rhetorical question. It's a question that probably should have been asked to Cedric the Entertainer. I'm asking you. I got you here, though. I know. I couldn't <laughs> believe Cedric didn't get asked that question. <laughs> You still a dude's joke and then give him an award and then 10 years later you don't know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, but I promise you this. What? If he sees me again before he sees you, he'll be talking different when you see him. That's for certain. That's the difference. That's what these comics understand is that I'm not doing nothing for clout. I don't even recognize clout. But eventually, the Lord is going to let me and you be in one hallway. A lot of these dudes go. But you did win the award. How did the award <laughs> help your career? It had to help some, Cat. Nope. Nope. God, come on, Cat. I didn't remember it. It happened to you. Just said it. Set, how can Cedric give you an award that was worth something? Everything Cedric and Ricky Smiley ever been in got canceled for not being funny. Damn, boy, what y'all think? What y'all think? Now, if you want to see the rest of that, go ahead and check out Club Shay Shay on YouTube and all that good stuff. Now, as this is going viral, Cedric the Entertainer stepped into the comment section of one of these vlogs and said this right here. Says, says, revisionist history. Regardless of whatever cat's opinion, my career can't be reduced to one joke Cat Williams claims as his. Now, y'all know this boy, man. He got all these damn typos. Y'all know you, mad. He says, I've been in over 40 movies. My specials and brand speaks volumes for who I am. The people I've put on excluding cat in the hat at the gibson amphitheater and all that tough talk is corny as funk i'm a grown ass man and none of that ish gonna go like you think you do you over there and i got this over here now this ain't the first time that said has addressed this on social media he says uh cat attack to all my people's hitting me about a cat williams commentary i say no sir that joke has roots tied into so many of my other jokes to know me is no most of my jokes are very similar animated characters acted out of sense of humor i've had jokes stolen i've had similar premises to others as well but that joke has dna that's over 30 years specifically from me cigarette hanging from the lip and all Check out what Sid had to say right here. What up, y'all? What's up, Sid? I'm going to address this Cat Williams thing one time, man. I saw people on there really good commenting about that. Look, I have no idea what this brother is talking about. That joke is over 30 years old, close to 30-something years old. I did the Kings of Comedy in 1999. Probably had been doing that joke six, seven years before that. I don't even know if Cat was doing comedy then. So, you know, again... He a talented brother. I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never seen Cat do a, a space show joke. So, uh, you know, there may be something that he believes is true. I've, I've written a lot of jokes. I've had a lot of comedians steal my jokes as well. So I understand if you feel, you know, slighted by that, but that's my joke. That's my joke, dog. Driving a space show to the moon, cigarette, cutie pie rocking in the background, parallel parking the spaceship. It's my joke, dog. So. That's what, that's what I believe it to be. So, all right.